Hi there guys, Ratty here. Um, okay, I um, need to make dinner exceptionally quickly and someone has just delivered some rooties to me. This time they're not frozen, they are um, kind of ready to just throw back in the pan and get to go. So I thought let's change the meatball dinner to a kind of curry potato rooty dinner. So, I'm going to start off with two onions. I'm just going to chop. You see me. What kind of the screen? Oh, wow. Like I said, this is amateur hour, okay? But another really healthy, according to me, easy, fast dinner. Loads of veggies. Doesn't take long. So I think we're in about week eight of lockdown. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding it challenging to be a mom and a teacher and a wife and an entrepreneur. You know, so I still have to fit in all my work. So I can do it all. I know I can. But it always feels like something has to give. Like I have dinner cooked and dishes washed and kids bathed and whatever and all the homework done, then I don't, and I haven't done any work. If I've done all my work and I've done all the dishes, then I haven't really fed the kids enough during the day and I haven't done enough homework. So there's always one thing, like I, I don't think I've seen Brett for about a week. <laughs> it feels like I haven't seen him in weeks actually, because we are just like two ships passing in the night. Um, so that, that, you know, something has to give. Um, and I suppose I could try even harder to do everything perfectly. I don't know, man, I'm getting tired. I'm getting old. Anyway, I'm sure everyone feels similar. Okay, so first things first, let me get a spoon. Guys, okay, so you know me and my coconut oil, I love it. So I'm going to put a huge spoon of coconut oil in there. I never make our curries too hot because I want the kids to be able to eat it as well. But they are extremely flavorful. Flavorsome, I think is the word. Correct word. Sorry, I really I'm not sleeping a lot at the moment, so excuse me if I if I sound a bit dumb. <laughs> and you know you can see me. Sorry. So the time now is 20 past 4, and we normally eat dinner at 4 past 5, so this has to be quick. Okay, so I'm not chopping the onions in any specific way, I'm really just chopping the onions. Okay, and then to that, I'm going to have a look through my little spice rack. I must be honest, I think I was probably stuck in a bit of a rut, but my curries always have the same things in. So this is the rest of my chicken masala going in. That can go into recycling. Actually, I might use them anyway. And then I've got some coriander. Oh, and just instantly the whole place smells amazing. Uh, some cumin. Lots and lots of garlic. Sorry, I'm gonna open the fridge quick. Oh, there you go. Sorry, no, you probably saw how, how dirty my fridge is. <laughs> yeah, I did like I did a massive clean over the weekend, like a deep clean. I really scrubbed. I have an old toothbrush, and I really scrubbed the bathroom, the, the bathroom, and like the shower, and 
like really deep cleaned in every single and mopped twice and vacuumed the whole house twice. But I didn't do the fridges, you know, so like, oh, it feels like there's always something that just has to get. Okay, so I'm going to put a whole bunch of garlic in because I love garlic. But the amount of spices that you put in and the amount of garlic that you put in is completely up to you. And I know that there are people out there whose kids can eat quite spicy foods, so then you put lots of spices and stuff in, that's fine. Then I'm going to put some turmeric in just because it's beautiful. Oh, cool, that's the end of my turmeric. Um, and I also have some paprika, which is a lovely, lovely, lovely colour. And I've just received a kilogram of smoked paprika, so I'm not scared to use the rest of my paprika. But the paprika and the turmeric I always find is more for the colour than for the um, taste. Really. Um, then I must probably add some parsley, which is beautiful. And I think that's okay for herbs. Have a look at that. Already, it just looks vibrant and it smells amazing. And I think curries are just such an amazing, it's like a comfort food for me. Um, it's not particularly cold today, so it's not because it's a wintry day or anything. Um, I just knocked this out quickly because I received those routines completely by chance. We were actually going to make meatballs and spaghetti, so I'll make that tomorrow maybe. I'll just see if I can get it recorded. Okay. So, that I'm going to turn up slightly so that it can start sizzling a bit more. Okay. Then I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide, listen to me, I'm going to hide loads of veggies in there. Okay, so this is a potato curry. So, chop up the potatoes again, no particular way. I do find if I chop them too small that they disappear completely. So, I don't know if you can see that. It's approximately a bite size. Okay, so I've got four rather large potatoes here. Because, as always, I'm trying to make enough for maybe tonight and tomorrow night. that took off the tip of my finger when I was chopping parsley. So I'm always very careful with like, even though it's not very sharp, definitely the tip of my finger. But I have recently also taken off my food wires. Don't scream and shout. And take the tiny jade sitting outside, so stay with her, please. Here we go. Oh, you thirsty, my sweetheart. And water, so half half. This is a 500 milliliter bottle, and I used to add just a dash of cordial, of Paul's cordial, which I've now run out of. Um, so I've, I've just made a bottle with I don't know where the bottle is now, but with some sugar syrup. Um, so I add a dash of sugar syrup, and she drinks like three or four bottles of that per day, um, which I don't mind because I think it's quite healthy actually. Okay. So, in got all the potatoes. Actually, I'm not going to do the fourth potato because I'm running out of space here. Okay, and I can see I'm needing more coconut oil. And while I'm speaking about coconut oil, we have just recently started making our own um, chocolate. Oh my word. I 
sent a video to my sister about um, certain things and now she is also on a more plant-based path and then her daughter kind of jumped on board and thought like oh this is the coolest thing ever and sent me the recipe for vegan chocolate we'll do that another day now i've got like vegan chocolate in the freezer and i just eat it 24 hours a day i literally wake up in the morning so, like the kids have it in their breakfast in their, in their oat porridge um and it's so healthy that i'm like have it have it have again for afternoon snacks have again for you know obviously um, it's new and it's very exciting, I'm sure it will temper and we are overdoing it at the moment. But anyway, back and then I'm going to add some butternut. Okay, so I'm not going to use that butternut. I'm going to use a different one. Oh, and speaking of butternuts, the other thing that I would like to make is um, butternut fritters. Check that. It has like a weird... That's why I didn't want to use this one either, because it's got like a weird... I don't know what it is, but maybe... I think the last time I asked one of the agents at the, at the market, they said it's because there was not enough rain, and then they kind of got drying out on the inside. Anyway, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Oh, actually, fine. So I'm going to use it. Okay, so there's a circle. I've just chopped it into four big bits, and I'm going to add that because that will completely boil away and into the sauce. I just use the, the front foot of the, of the butternut and the rest will use the butternut fritters and I'll show you how to do that another day. Okay. And now those onions are fried. Everything is coated in that lovely curry kind of flavors. I'm going to add some water. Just to cover the pan. Okay, so now I'm going to use two different kinds of lentils. Uh, these red lentils cook away from people. They just become part of the sauce, so you won't even see them. And these, these are lentils that I've never heard of before. They're called pay or pie, P-U-Y, pay. So it's marbled green lentils, and they're all beautiful. I don't know, they were black lentils, brown lentils, red lentils, marbled lentils, all sorts of things. I think my fan might be too small, but anyway, I'll transfer it to a pot later if I need to. Okay, and then I am also going to chop up, uh, I had, this is the rest of a cauliflower that I used the other day for, what did I make? Ooh, vegetable pancakes. So this is the rest from the vegetable pancakes. I'll show you a video on the vegetable pancakes that are amazing. It's like my new favorite thing. I make the Korean version, but I've got a friend who's just using the Japanese version as well. So I'm definitely trying both of them. So I'm just going to lob this in. And a few little black marks, which I'm just going to cut away. Okay, and again, not cutting it in any particular way. Just give it a rough cut. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna have to transfer this into a pot just now because this pan is not big enough. any butternut then add in whatever vegetable you've got i've actually also got uh, courgettes but i'm not going to add the courgettes because as you can see this pan is about to completely explode um and i still wanted to add um geez, a, a fourth potato which is there's no space for that um and a, and a red pepper but i'm not going to have space for the red pepper either so i'll put the red pepper into my vegetable pancakes as well um 
They will make butternut fritters with the rest of the butternut, and then lots of people get stuck with their butternuts, which, you know, butternut fritters are like an absolute favorite in the house. And to finish this off, I am going to add a tin of coconut. Um, coconut cream. I love coconut cream, um, just because I love cream. Here is a bowl of roasted sesame seeds, which I still have to blend and make tahini, um, which I could have added to this, but now I don't have to do yet. So there's the blender standing over there, ready. Um, okay, so this is predominantly potatoes, right? And then add any other vegetables that you want. The lentils are there for protein. I could have added some more beans if I wanted. I've got the beans in the freezer, but I'm just now, this is kind of full, so I think the lentils are fine. If I wanted to, I could have added some black beans, kidney beans, white beans, um, butter beans, um, chickpeas, whatever, but I think this is alright for now. So I'm just going to pop the lid on that, turn the heat down a little bit, and in approximately, what time is it now? It's now 35 minutes, so 25 to 5, so we're on target. This one must probably sit here for another half an hour, then I'll add the coconut cream and it'll be ready and then we'll just heat up those little rooties and roll it up so I'll, I'll start this video with a little picture of what the end product looked like so i'm very excited because it smells delicious all right so those are like potato curry rooties okay but also just on its own without the rooti this is one of my absolute favorite go-to uh, dinners because it's so incredibly quickly it's quick and it's, it's like a one pan or one pot and done. Right. Cheers, guys. Chatting.